Okay, uh, we're coming back on for the inspection portion. Uh, the diver is standing underneath the access hatch at the 12 o'clock position looking at the ladder. Uh, I already got a picture of it. What can you tell us about the uh, the rungs and the supports on the ladder, Kellen? Uh, what I can see here is there's a lot of surface staining going on. Um, a little bit of surface uh, corrosion, but not much. Overall, it's in excellent shape. Good shape. Okay, copy that. And uh, just to your right there on that weld seam, uh, what do you got going on there? And here we do have some nodulating, some minor nodulating going on on this weld seam. Uh, it is pretty consistent off on the uh, about halfway through it. And uh, there is a few more areas on the floor that could be touched up a little bit. Okay, and uh, as you work in a clockwise uh, position, what is that? At the, I believe it's a one o'clock position. Is that the first picture you come across? So Roger that at about the one o'clock. We're at our first manway. And uh, I'm going to check out the seams here. That is in excellent condition. Making my way towards the three. And what position was that in again? One o'clock. Okay, can you step back so I can take a picture of it? I do. Got it. Roger. Okay, moving on. How does the uh, the wall look in the wall seam? Uh, so far, so good. I did notice some spots in another area in the tank that I will show you here in a minute. I am at about the 2 o'clock. Okay. There appear to be quite a bit of uh, surface staining on the wall. Yeah, it just looks like staining on the wall. So there were a couple of areas that were down low. I noticed when somebody was back. Okay. Rod seams seem to be in excellent condition. Making my way from the three to the six. Quadrant two. What is that going on on the floor? Is that leftover uh, sediment or was that the corrosion that I saw? Yeah, uh, it looks like. This is a uh, desurface lamination going on, and there is quite a big area of it going on right here. Is that all on one panel, or is it spread out throughout a few? It's on a couple panels. It's on mainly two panels, but there are a few other little spots that uh, are uh, on a uh, different panel. Understand. Making my way from the uh, <clears throat> six to climb the center stanchion. Okay, at the center stanchion. There is a little bit of rust going on, surface corrosion. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, it just looks like a little bit of corrosion around the, uh, that outer seam where the plate is. Um, what about the center column uh, where it goes to the plate? How's that weld seam? Uh, that weld seam is in excellent condition. Okay, and the center, what? Are you seeing any corrosion on that or is it fine? No, it looks good. Uh, do you want me to go ahead and climb it? Yeah, go ahead. Roger. Excellent condition. Great surface. And looks good, so I'm going to make my way back down. Actually, can you look uh, to the left? Uh, there we go, the overflow. Roger. Got it. And uh, is there anything else sticking out? What position is that in? About the 11 o'clock? Yeah, Roger. Copy. And other than that, uh, nothing else really sticks out so far. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of corrosion up at uh, where they typically keep their water line, but the roof looks good. Okay, go ahead and go back down. I'm service. On bottom. Making my way back to the six. Are you noticing much blistering on the floor? 
I'm not really seeing any blistering topside. I do got quite a bit of uh, surface delamination though. Yeah, all I saw was some hydrogen and the delamination. That's about it. Derek was saying something about the blistering, but I'm just not seeing it. Okay. I am uh, back at the six now, making my way to the nine. Quad and three. Here again is that uh, desurface lamination we were talking about earlier. And I am at about the seven o'clock now. We come across our second man eye. Okay, you said the seven o'clock? Yeah, Roger. Okay, can you inspect the outer and the other seal on? Roger. The seal appears to be in excellent condition. There is a little bit of surface corrosion going on here. Right along that, uh, that same. Around it. Okay. Okay, let's we'll step back so you can get a picture. Got it. Around it. Moving on. Of the 7 o'clock. See, there is a little bit more surface delamination over here. The walls seem to be in good condition. And there is some more at about the 9 o'clock of surface delamination and quadrant 4 there is quite a bit of it going on. Okay. Okay, at the 10 o'clock. Making my way to the overflow. Here is these uh, spots on the wall I was talking about topside. Right behind the overflow. Yeah, okay, that's where I've seen it before then. Uh, how does that seam on the uh, overflow look? There is a little bit of corrosion going on and some surface lam delamination going on as well on the over. Yeah, it looks excellent from up here. Uh, okay, and what position is that in? It's in about the 10 o'clock. Okay, and what's the next picture? Next picture is your inlet. And there does appear to be some noduling going on, not on the seals. Yeah, I noticed a little corrosion on the seam where the pipe is. Okay. Can you step back a little and let me take a picture? I do. Okay, and on our flood assembly here, we do have quite a bit of uh, corrosion going on. Okay, and the other one there, that is the uh, outlet? Yeah, Roger. What position is that in again? Uh, the 11. Okay, can you look to the right? Got it, okay, and how's that seam look? Uh, the seam looks to be in good condition. Copy, uh, no noduling going on? No noduling going on on that, but... Right there, it looks like there's quite a bit going on on the float assembly, but I don't believe the float's working anyways. Uh, got a picture of it, regardless. Okay. And here we are again at the 12. Okay, good deal. Uh, is that delamination on the floor something that can be cured with some epoxy or some areas hit up, in your opinion? Uh, I believe it could, but uh, the problem is when you start digging into them, you might get a huge... You want to, you know, make a, a huge... Understand, it might be worthwhile to touch up a couple of those areas, especially uh, the, the noduline. Uh, I'm not sure if it was actually pitting on the floor areas or not. Uh, the ones on the wall where there was noduline and corrosion going on, I would suggest uh, repairing those and also coating around that, uh, the uh, inlet pipe uh, and a little bit on that manway as well. So at this time, we'll call this for first tank clean and inspected. Those are our recommendations at this point. Uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and terminate this dive. Roger. Leave